24% of Arizona voters are Latino, 31% in California, some of the largest numbers compared to other states, which is why the Trump campaign has made it a point to continue rallying in Arizona. The Trump campaign has made it a point to continue coming back to Yuma County. Can you tell me about this last minute push to get voters out by Tuesday? We need to be on the ground. We need to speak to incredible crowds like that so that they can tell their friends. Donald Trump Jr. proud of the work he says his father has done to help the Latino community. Donald Trump promised a V-shaped recovery and we have that. We have the highest you know, GDP growth we've ever seen. But if you have the permanent shutdowns that the Democrats want and would push for, those jobs are never coming back. Those businesses will close their doors and they will never reopen. Like the Hispanic Prosperity Initiative that gives Hispanics better access to educational and economic opportunities. Donald Trump is fighting for so many of the values that they hold dear, you know, whether it be school choice, whether it be education, whether it be life, whether it's the religious liberties that my father has been fighting for. The Trump administration campaigning on what it says is the fastest economic recovery following coronavirus. They understand hard work and culture. They don't want a handout. They want to be able to work. They don't want the lockdown. The guy that built the strongest economy America has ever seen is Donald Trump. He's the guy that can do it again. Not Joe Biden, who's been talking about it for 47 years without any accomplishments. That's not going to work. The Biden camp has been very vocal about what it calls the president's failed attempt to control coronavirus, saying that if Americans had been warned earlier and if the president had a better plan in place, the economy wouldn't have taken as big as a hit as it did. But soon we will know if the president's accomplishments were enough to sway Arizona voters. For a full breakdown on what the Trump administration says it has done for the Hispanic community, head over to our website. Reporting in Yuma, Crystal Jimenez, News 11.